Hey hey, I'm gonna do a video on my July skincare regimen. Some of the products used in this video itself, I've been using them for more than a month. Um, so yeah, continue watching to find out more about my July skincare regimen. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna talk about um, skincare products. So I've been really using them for like as diligently as I can and um, I think if you've watched my videos and read my blog and even follow me on my Instagram you would not have known that I've been using a black paint for a few months now um, this is gonna be right now I'm currently on my fourth um, bar itself so if you're wondering what it is I will actually um, attach a link to my review and everything down below um, but I just want to talk about certain things because when I did my video on black paint bar soap itself um, I did mention that you're supposed to leave it on for like 3 to 5 minutes but I was corrected by the founder you're supposed to leave it on for only like 30 seconds to 20 seconds so whoops uh, if you have very sensitive skin leave it on for 20 seconds now I've seen a few reviews going around regarding this black paint soap itself it's very important to actually layer the soap in it's um, a bit thicker because I've seen all this really really like greyish kind of uh, layer on skin and it does not really work as well if you were to do it properly um, Black Paint Japan itself has done a video to actually show you how this product works so maybe I'll also attach one link down below to show you that video that they have recently launched uh, and the whole concept of this soap itself is it's really cool so jump over to my blog to read more about it now the thing I want to talk about um, besides the soap is actually what follows up after that so um, after you wash your face and cleanse your face um, I actually use this best water toner it's basically just water inside with a lot of nutrients that is targeted to actually enrich and moisturize the pores um, very simple just pump like Three, 3 to 5 and then just pat it on your hand and pat it all over your face and let the water um, be absorbed by your skin follow up by a oil water rose now I really love this you can actually see the layer so the layer here is the oil and below it's rose water so what you're supposed to do is supposed to shake it and it will become this milky solution can you see yeah I love the smell of this um, it's really good. I actually, you can actually use this all over your face, even un under your eyes, to help prevent wrinkles. And basically, same thing: two to three drops, and then just layer it over your face, patting in into your skin. And if you want, you can actually do it another time, and then pat it over your skin. So after the um, oil water, I actually follow up with the water cream. It's basically a very simple, um, almost like a very gentle texture. Once you layer it on, it becomes sort of like um, watery and the whole concept is to actually layer it on a bit by a bit. So right now, I've just finished this water cream. Uh, I'm currently using their premium um, collection. So it's also the same thing, it's water cream but the ingredients inside are slightly different. And I really love this, I really love the smell of it as well. Um, just to show you, it comes with a little spoon like this. Uh, I try to wash this regularly so that I don't contaminate the entire cream but the concept is to use this to scoop it up. So you can tell it's set up so you can open it up and that's how it basically looks like. So you're supposed to scoop it a little bit on your palm and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna layer it on your skin like this. For example it's your cheek and what you want to do is you want to spread it out evenly over and then let it dry it will actually um, your skin will actually absorb its moisture and you can feel a difference after a while so once this is dry if you want another layer you just basically just pat it on and go up against it like this let it dry between layers so that you know this layer seals it up this layer acts as a moisturizer and I really love it it's actually it doesn't feel creamy it feels more watery and I find that it's really good for our climate because you know we don't really like that oily sticky feeling so this is great and it dries off uh, in a very smooth velvety kind of texture so it's great now there's another thing with the black paint soap itself is the uh, connect sponge um, basically what you want to do is you want to soak it 
in water and then just rub around your skin now this product itself um, even for me I've tried it and sometimes if it doesn't dry properly it starts um, it starts being mushy and it starts breaking down so I asked the founder like you know what's you know what's the best way to keep it dry and she actually told me that it's good if you have like a towel and like you sort of like squish out all the water in a sponge using the towel after it's used and so far it has retained its um, texture and its quality and everything so yeah that's a little tip that you can actually practice if you are bothered by your cognac sponge or like you know you find yourself buying a lot of this because it keeps on breaking down so right yeah. now i'm actually breaking out not too sure if you can see it but because i've that's the problem I always face, especially during the time of the month and um, if I take antibiotics. So recently, you know, there's a flu bug going around and I have to take antibiotics and poof, my face just exploded with blemishes. So to help me with my problem skin, I am actually currently using this clay mask by uh, Blissoma from Charles Naturals. I will actually put the link down below as well and my review on it. Um, this product's really good. You can leave it on as a spot treatment, so like places where you have blemishes, just to take a little bit and pat it on on your skin. Or you can just leave it a layer all over your face and then let it dry for about 15 minutes and then wash it off. It has little tiny grain beads, uh, clay beads inside, so it helps to, you know, you can scrub your face with it as well. Um, I really love this so this is like my to go to for spot treatment and for internal beauty right now I'm actually still testing out the 100% uh, pure collagen by Ito so right now the purpose of this uh, video is also to announce that I will be giving away a full size box to whoever that writes a comment down below in my YouTube channel and um, you can do it by a few ways so the information will be downstairs to actually win this whole entire box and the great thing is that inside this box itself there's actually a pin ticket so you can actually win a return trip to Osaka if you win the details and mail it to them so yeah press your luck out I'll be giving away one box of this so far I've been consuming them and like I mentioned in my blog you can tell like my acne scars are getting slightly better uh, in terms of wrinkles Okay lah, I think so. Um, but what I'm really excited about is the fact that it helps with it helps me with my acne scar because acne was one of the things that I had to battle when I was growing up as a teenager, which is so weird because now I feel so old. But <laughs> basically, yeah, I had a lot of like severe acne when I was growing up, and um, one of the side effects from it was actually this uneven um, texture that acne caused. So I usually just ignore it and like you know at certain angles you can't really tell but right now um, it's quite good. I'm not too sure if the light is blocking it but you can actually see slight improvement to the texture. Not so much but there is a slight improvement. So I'm still con continuing the um, collagen itself and if you want to try it out, join my giveaway. So yeah. And I will announce the winner and everything. All the information will be in my blog down below. So I hope you like this video. So give a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe even better. I'm still trying to get used to the whole YouTube thing. So you see some changes going on. And um, as always, hop on to my blog at jodilu.blogspot.sg or head over to my Instagram to follow me on my daily life at jodilu. See ya!